Hello there everyone, I'm Crazy Kayla, and today we are taking a look at a fairly simple module, Cruel Keypads. So the thing that's a little bit difficult about this module is essentially trying to communicate, because this is based off of Korean symbols. It's in Korean letters, or whatever it be, and that's what really makes this module a little bit difficult. However, some of these symbols aren't that really hard to explain. However you wish to explain them, up to you, I really don't care. Um, so what we need to do is, based off of um, based off of the symbols that are present on the module, the LED and the stage number, we're going to determine which order we're going to press them based off of one of these menu tables received from this Venn diagram here. There are always three stages, so you'll know. Let's figure out which areas apply. The strip is red, blue, or green. Yep. This is stage one or three. Yes. Any of these symbols present? This one is right here. Right there. That's true. And if the color of the strip contains a, a lever in common with the serial number. So our color is red? Absolutely. There's two, as a matter of fact. So, all of them apply. So this is basically what's the center, right here. So we're looking at table C. However, each of them have a little special rule that you have to pay attention to. If there is a PS2 port on the bomb and any of the indicators, then reverse the order. Taking a look here. Um, a PS2 port. No. No, there isn't. So, we are essentially going to be not reversing the order, but switching the first press with the second. So we're going to do this sort of like... I wouldn't necessarily say who's on first style, but basically a regular keypad, and we're just going to go from left to right, or if the rule says otherwise, um, and determining which order we're going to press them in. So, is this one present? No, this one is, so our first press is going to be in position 2. Uh, not present, you are present, so that's going to be a 4. Um, you're present right here, at right number 1. And by default, right there. It is in the last on the list. So that's going to be our order. But first, we have to switch the first and the second press. So in this case, this becomes a four, and this becomes a two. So we are going to press in positions four, two, one, three. And just like that, it moves on to the second stage. So now, each time we're going to have to look through this because it's bound to change. So strip red, blue, or green. Yep. The, the strip can change, just as an FYI. This is stage one or three. No, this is stage two. So this does not apply. Any of these symbols present? Yep, same one right there. And red. We said that did share a, a common letter with the serial number. Echo and Delta. So taking a look here. So we have everything except the, dot, the dotted in the dash line. So this one right here. So let's find an area right there. Alpha. That has the other three, but not this one. So we're going to table alpha. Our special rule is switch the first with the last and the second with the first, the second with the third. To sum this rule up, you basically reverse the order. Because you've got, let's say, let's order them one, two, three, four. The first and the last press switch, that becomes a four, and you become a one. And your second and third swaps, so that becomes a third, and that becomes a second. So just like that. So essentially, what I'm going to be doing is instead of reading from um, right to, uh, from left to right, I'm going to read from right to left, or reverse the order, essentially. So this one's present right here, so we're going to press three. Uh, you're not present. You are the, basically the echo, I would say. Um, that would be a four. Backwards foxtrot, no. A T with a line, no. Um, I don't know what these are, but... Feel free to describe them. Um, the single one right here, yep, that's going to be a two. Um, a circle, and these ones are without one above. I don't know the name of them necessarily. And just to make sure, we have the two upside down L's right there. Yep. So we're going to press in positions three, four, two, one. Is an acceptable answer. That's absolutely brilliant. So taking a look here. Looking again at the vine diagram, the strip is red, green, or blue. Yep. Stages one or three. Yep. Any of these symbols are present here. Let's take a look. We have the Oscar. We have the little things right there. 
um, T with a line and back turn, backward clock turn. No, we do not have any of these symbols. And green, there is an echo in here, so that does share a letter in common. This time we're going to not use the little dotted one, this one right here. We use everything except that, in this case, is going to be an alpha again. So, like I said before, you're going to be reversing this order or reading backwards. So we have these little lines right here. It'll be in position one. Sort of have like a Roman numeral two, no. Um, echo, no. Backwards, Fox Trump. Uh, tango with the line. Keep looking. Um, you're up next. It's going to be in position four. Um, two C's, one is bent. That's that's there. Yep. And our um, eight upside down A's, two upside down A's, I would describe them as. And that's going to be what our presses are. So we have a one, four, three, and two. Is the right answer? And just like that is a module solved. Let's take a look at one more. Well, let's pay, let, let me show you what happens if you do strike on it. It doesn't no, let I you know it. I'm not persuaded. if you strike on it or not until you've entered in all of them. So that's important to note down. So let's go back up to the Venn diagram and solve one more, as this is a rather quite simple module. The strip is red, blue, or green. No, this is magenta. Let's get this straight. This is magenta. Stages one or three. Yep. Any of these symbol present, we have a backwards box trot. So this is true. And when the lights come back on, I will check the serial number for any of the letters in magenta. Let's take a look. Um, magenta. Yeah, we do not have any of those that share a uh, letter. So these are the two that we'll be using. The dot, the dot, the, the dash dot line, and the dots. The the, the thinner one of the best because there's two thick ones right here. So this will be in table echo. So looking at this order, let's pay attention to our special rule. If the strip in any of the previous stages, well, we haven't had it in previous stages, so this is not true already. But if the strip is um, in any of the previous stages. Uh, were, that's a typo, um, were yellow or blue, then input the reverse in order, then input in reverse order. However, that is not the case, so let's just plug it in like this. Uh, regular Charlie, two Charlies, that's one, that's one that's bent, um, I guess sort of like a two, I would describe it as, that's present, that's in position two, take a figure. Um, the rectangle, um, the single upside down A, I would guess, I would describe it, yep, three. Um, the two upside down A's, that's one, and then by default, backwards box truck should be the second and last one. So that would be a four. Let's press it in via positions, two, three, one, four. On to our second stage. The strip is red, blue, or green, yep. Stages one or three, nope, is it two? Any of these symbols present? It's important to note that this is a circle, not the box, so we're not going to mark that. However, we do have this one right here, so that's going to be present. And red, is there any of them that share a common? De Delta does, so this is true. Color shares a strip with a letter in the zero number. So taking a look up here, everything except the dash dot line. In this case, that'll be an alpha, once again. So we're just going to eventually, essentially, uh, reverse the sequence here. Just do a reading from right to left. Don't have two lines. Um, don't have a Roman numeral two. Don't have an echo. Don't have a background fox shot. Don't have a T with a line, right? I do have the single thing right here. I'm not sure really what to call it. Like I said, um, do, I have a, do I have an O or a zero? Um, I do have the one thing right there. I guess I would describe it maybe as a wishbone, perhaps? That'd be the only thing that I can think of. Um, and then this would be the wishbone with the line on top. Um, upside down L, no. Uh, upside down alpha, 
Yes. And then the box should come right after. It does. So two. So pressing in positions one, four, three, and a two. That is absolutely right. One more stage. The strip is red, blue, or green. No, it is yellow in this case. Stages one or three. Yep. Um, uh, zero wishbone with line. Two wishbones with lines on top. Uh, tango with a line or backwards box drop present. Yes. Uh, strip contains a common letter with the word yellow in the serial number. No. So these are the only two we're looking at. Which happens to be Echo once again. So, we're going to, if the strips in any of the previous stages were yellow or blue. No, we had a magenta and we had a red in the last stage. So this actually does not apply. So, we're just going to do from left to right. Simple as that. Charlie. One of the Charlies is bent. Two. Yep, that's present. Um, the rectangle. Yep. The upside down alpha. The single one. Yep. Three. And then by default, the box should be... Or no, no, no. Wait, wait. The two. And then the box. Oh, I already marked the box. Um, the alpha. Yep. And then the backwards box trunk right there. That'll be a two. And we're going to press it in that order. Four, one, three, and two. Is an acceptable answer. That's absolutely And right. just like that is a solved module. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, stay crazy, stay cool, don't explode, and don't get your Korean symbols wrong. See you guys.